Check out these rocks that I got today at a panel on introductions to geology. I don't know if this is an agate. Uh, no, that's not my bus. Uh, but and I got this other one that's uh, shimmering. It looks like gold. I forget what it's called. Uh, the panelist said, but I'm not sure. But oh, it's terrific. Earlier today, I ran into a really sad situation with um, another individual on the spectrum. And I guess not everybody who is on the spectrum wants to talk about their autism, which is great. But I was uh, trying to talk to him and get a better idea of what uh, services he got. And I mean, at first, the conversation went well. But as soon as I started talking about services, he just got really offended and started saying things like, well, yeah, I don't need that, you know, that sh and I apologized and I immediately shut down because I didn't know what to do next with the conversation. And honestly, when he responded to me with uh, that kind of an attitude, it actually uh, kind of hurt my feelings and uh, I honestly thought I would start crying. So I said goodbye and I walked away because I just don't didn't want to blow up at him. And I wanted to behave myself since uh, I was in a public place. But I told them, I said, well, I better get going before I break down. And I walked away and his response was, okay. Well, uh, for those of you on the spectrum, I think it's great. I mean, uh, he has a great story. He has a great uh, way of uh, moving forward. As he told me that he's independent and he's functioning and he didn't need the services, which I'm fine with. But the way that he, uh, he goes about uh, having people talk to him about his autism, that's an area that I think that uh, he could really work on is not getting offended and not letting the A word get to him. I mean, I'm not going to give out his name, but uh, there are people on the spectrum that are working and they've just chosen to settle off and have normal lives. And I'm just so proud of that. I mean, I know that some of these career paths that Disney and Pixar has, apparently uh, they're not allowed to, uh, or they, they don't talk about the label, which is great. You shouldn't be hung up on the labels anyway. You should be hung up on the amazing person and you should be hung up on all the gifts and talents. You should be hung up on the fact that you're just as equal as everybody else. And that goes for those of you that are parents. Uh, yes, your child does things in a uh, little different way, but you shouldn't let the child be label locked or you shouldn't talk about how how they do this wrong or how they do that wrong or how this or that is inappropriate. No, the best thing you can do is uh, use the workarounds. But as I said, I mean, if you're not going to be label locked and if you're on the spectrum, that's where social skills come in. That's where you politely say, hey, I'm not going to discuss that. I don't care to discuss that. I don't care to get hung up on the labels. All I know is that I'm just a, a functioning person like everybody else. I'm just as equal as everybody else. You don't need to be cursing and you don't need to be uh, making other people feel bad because you brought up their autism. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, some of you are embarrassed, but don't be. At some point, YouTube, you're going to have to uh, share, you're going to have to uh, accept it that you're different. That's what autism acceptance is. I mean, sure, you want other people to accept you, but there's a time and a place where you have to accept yourself. I mean, you have to accept it that yes, you had special services. Yes, you had all kinds of uh, funky theories thrown at you. And yes, you had all kinds of people talking down at you and nagging at you and going, that's not appropriate. I mean, hey, I was in special education. I had, uh, I was just got off of uh, YouTube. I just got off social security, all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, there are things that I wanna leave behind. 
and it, it's good that you want to move forward but again getting mad and letting other people quote push your buttons that's going to turn people away like in my case um it almost caused me to cry so i just and i i shut down so i just turned around and walked away because uh, i just didn't like the way he was acting and i uh, just didn't appreciate being talked to like that even though i knew that i probably was wrong for pushing his buttons but i wasn't going to respond and uh, lash out at him because again i know there are people that are embarrassed to admit that they're autistic or they acknowledge it but they refuse to accept it um, and to them they think it's a disease and they just get really angry so anyway youtube i'm out of time for today if you like what i'm doing please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe also be sure to uh, share my blogs on, on twitter and facebook you name it any social media or autistic groups until next time i'm maya sundermeyer and i'm signing off